Hello people, it's Cray here and today I'm going to do a tutorial on After Effects and this tutorial is going to be on how to use keyframe or create I guess an optical flare in After Effects and before I start I'd just like to say that yeah I got out of school early today but because they're remodeling my house so I have to be someone has to be inside the house so the construction workers or whatever could remodel it so if you guys hear like a lot of noise in the background I'm really sorry but um, I have my window open and the construction workers and the cars and the trucks whatever they're using are passing by so hopefully it's not a big disturbance but yeah let's get started so you want to open up After Effects go to projects create a new composition new composition make sure it's 1280 by 720 and if you're going to use a clip and you record with PBR or you record in HD you want the frame rate to be 59.94 but if you're using standard definition then 30 frames per second the re make sure the resolution is full and the start time 000 the duration uh, it depends on the length you want the clip or your little edit to be so I just put 50 seconds click OK then we go to file import or we'll import a clip um, See what clip should I use? I just use this one, I guess. Um, let's see where I could use it. And if you guys want some clips, these clips, I put them on my uh, on my toolbar or on my pack for my 3K. So if you guys want clips to edit, they're in there, and you guys could just edit it or whatever, and put a video response to any of my videos or to the 3k pack video if you edit it and just let me know what you did I just would like to see it but yeah let's say you want a flare started from here going to the end right here you're gonna wanna have it on the timeline and you're gonna wanna right click around this area new solid you wanna make sure it's black and it's the same size as your composition was so it's 1280 by 720 click OK and you want to click it and you could go right here to all these are all my presets I have and you just want to go to video copilot optical flares and when I got when I got the plug in um, there's some trucks passing by right now <laughs> but yeah when I when I got the plug in I didn't have any presets so I didn't have any flares I could only create my own so if you guys would like some presets I'll show the link in the description will be where I got my presets from it's not where to get the plug in but it's where to get the presets from which are all these so you just want to go to blue digital that's a good one I guess and you want to go to on transparent on render mode so you can see it on the clip so if you want to start right here then you're gonna to want to click this little time watch right here and the now nah, we're not gonna mess with the brightness we're not gonna keyframe the brightness but you want to click the stopwatches and then you want to hold control and click the left key on your keyboard and if you notice right here you're gonna move back one keyframe when you do that for each time you hold control and you click the left key you move back one keyframe so I moved back one and you want to just drop or actually we actually needed to motherfucking trucks we actually needed to keyframe the brightness so then we're gonna hold control and go back one and put it down to zero and then it would start right there and let's see where we want the flare to end you can keep moving the right to just whatever we'll just go do you get the edit for other people oh. alright so then you want to move back a couple keyframes and then you want to just move this to the end of the gun or wherever you want it to go and I guess you can move this one too to create a different effect and then you want to go forward one more keyframe or two I guess if you want it to fade really good and then just lower that down to zero and as you can see you might want to go back from the keyframe when you lowered it and just move back two and then higher it up to zero because for some reason it starts lowering like towards the mid, so 
so then it would technically only go like to right here and then you'd barely see it towards the end so I'm just trying to preview this uh, let's zoom back out and I only want to ramp preview this area so you move this and then you hold shift and click this arrow and it ramp previews and it's going to start lagging because I'm previewing it on full as you can see the optical flare there it goes and it looks pretty good so yeah it's basically how to use the optical flare and keyframe it um, if you guys like this tutorial and would like different tutorials or other type of stuff, let me know. And I'll do other types of stuff. I know how to use Magic Bullet really good. And for color corrections, if you guys don't know what it is. Um, also, other people were saying No Light Factory is better. I guess if it just depends on preference. It could be really good. It's the same thing, though. If that. You could use it the same way, keyframe it, whatever, but I prefer optical flares. I don't know, they're just better flares in my opinion. But I know how to use Particular really good. I know how to use all the plugins I have I already messed with, and I really know how to use them really good. So if you guys would like a tutorial on anything specific, let me know. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So hopefully you guys like this. And please don't forget to comment and rate. And... I'm Cray, and that's it. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.